We're making almond flour keto bread in 90 seconds. Let's go! If you love using almond flour in your recipes and you're not allergic to anything like that, it is essential that you have a 90 second bread recipe for those times where you want just a little bit of bread and you don't have any left in the freezer. If you've never tried 90 second bread before, it's essential that you have a great recipe because bread can really dry up in the microwave and you need a recipe that toasts well and performs just like regular bread. In this video, I'm going to try and answer all of the questions that you might have, freezing, storing, all that kind of fun stuff. And so, without further ado, let's get into the recipe now. Add one whole egg to a bowl and one tablespoon of melted butter that's been cooled. Then whisk that together until it's combined. Now for the dry ingredients, add three tablespoons of almond flour, a half teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt. And whisk that again, making sure all of the ingredients are incorporated. I've got a sandwich sized plastic container here and it's not greased or anything. Pour all of the batter into the container and to smooth it off, all you need to do is shake the container making sure that you get the batter into the corners and you can also tap it onto the counter. But doing it this way means you won't have to spend five minutes smoothing it off with the spatula, which can be tedious in a small container. And do note, I do not cover the container at all. Now microwave for 90 seconds and this is how it turns out. I let it cool because I'm going to cut it in half so you can see the middle. It's slightly thicker and lighter in the middle, but I don't mind that since the texture is even throughout the bread. I also tried toasting it first on setting three, and this is how it turns out. Pretty good, eh? I also toasted it on setting two, just to see if it would toast at all, because some people like lightly toasted and some like heavily toasted, so I'm not sure of your preference. I also tested how it would freeze, and this is two slices already frozen. I just let it thaw naturally, and now take a look at the results. It looks the same to me. Still soft and flexible. Let's test it going straight from frozen to the toaster on setting four. And it yields about a medium toast, I would say, but you can check how it performs as shown here. We have covered how to freeze and if you want to just keep it in the fridge I would just go for a few days because that's how long might stay really good and I believe I have given you all the tools to make in bulk if you so wish but if you do have any other questions please do let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe and be well.